hopefully we do the job, but you know, I'm sure I'm going to be on the on the run and uh, take my share of hits and uh, try to keep going. So as it should be, one of the country's best offenses against the best defense for the national championship. A game so big, it'll take a big sky to hold it and a big stadium to play. The fact that Marshall is a, this is their home site. This is a, not only a championship game, but they're playing on their own field. They're playing their home crowd. They're playing the situation they've been in before. And so there's a lot lends itself to, to Marshall's situation. Don Reed's been with the program since 1986, and the guy has racked up 84 wins since then. He can coach. That's exactly right, Dave. Now, one thing we have to do, we might have to defer to our climatologist, Dave Parker, but we wondered, do grizzly bears and buffalo live close by? We endeavored to find them in the same place, and we did. We've stretched our resources to the world-famous Columbus Zoo, <laughs> where we located the previously <laughs> uncatchable grizzly bear, big and aggressive, but no less imposing the fierce, proud, and regal buffalo. Who wins in a fight to the finish? <laughs> Only the legendary zookeeper Jack Hanna knows for sure. Is, uh, a grizzly is, is one of the fastest animals, mammals on the planet. They can run 100 yards in less than 4.5 seconds. 100 yards in 4, that's a grizzly. Buffalo can't do that. A bison, buffalo bison, same thing. I don't know. Anyway, they can't run that fast. So today the grizzly was sleeping because he's getting ready. He's getting ready for the bison. So be careful. Because the grizzly comes out mad, it's going to be fast. Now, if they can't wake the grizzly up, then it could be all over. Now, Dave, there's not a more entertaining zookeeper in America than Jack Hanna, and we had to go to the ends of the earth to get that video taken. You know, Jack's tamed a lot of animals over the years, but uh, I tell you what, there's no way he could tame our boy Marco. Our Maria Durant caught up with him to see how he's preparing for the national championship. He's one of the most popular guys on campus. Recognize him? Probably not, but I'm sure you recognize him now. That's right, Tom Perry has the important job of Marco, the team's mascot. What does it mean to be Marco? Being full of spirit at all times during the game and trying to keep the kids and the students involved in the game as much as possible. It's not easy being this lovable furry friend. During the game, he's kept pretty busy. The thing I found that it works with the crowd the best is beating the other mascot up. That or stealing their flag. Uh, the fans probably notice we have a huge flag that we'll uh, run with. But what I like to do is grab the other team's uh, big flag and just take off running. And so he says he's ready to stir up the crowd this weekend. What I'll do is just come up with signs, goofy little outfit. We'll definitely have the We Are Marshall going as loud as possible for the game because uh, you talk to players uh, from other teams, when they come in here, the most intimidating factor uh, to the stadium and that comes along with Marshall are the fans. And Marco's one fan who'll be cheering the team onto the top. For Mission Countdown, Maria Durant. All right, thanks, Maria. And you know, Keith, it wasn't too long ago when they had a, the real buffalo in the sideline. That's right. I remember in the early 70s that broke away from the handlers and they had to tie some ropes to get him back in hand. But uh, we're going to take a break first. And when we come back, we'll have the signs of the times as the area gets decorated for Saturday. And we'll get the shirt off your back. Well, at least the shirt that may be on your back. If the herd wins, Mission Countdown continues. In fact, it's become something of a December tradition in Huntington to paint the town green, so to speak. Photographer Jimmy Tracy took his camera out and his imagination out on the town to track down some of the younger herd fans who are showing off martial pride. Hi, everybody! We're going to bring it home to Huntington! He looked at why we're going to Santa Fe. Ready? Santa Fe! Go! We have a sense of community pride here at Meadows, and, and we're proud to support Marshall. The big
biggest problem we had was the fact that it was supposed to rain this weekend. So we decided we'd have to put our signs on garbage bags and make our streamers out of garbage bags. So the kids have been cutting and we wanted something that would be visible for the kids for everybody to see as they came by. Go watch you! I love the herd! <laughs> they've been working for two or three days on this, so they've gotten out a little bit of schoolwork. <laughs> They're happy with it. Thanks to photographer Jimmy Tracy for that. Now, there's several plays that will make the game memorable tomorrow, and there's several ways to buy those memories as well. Alan Cohen has that story. Marshall memorabilia is big business. s and &E Printing in Charleston is turning out thousands of hats and sweatshirts. We usually end up doing about 20, 30,000 uh, shirts before Christmas, and then if Marshall wins, we'll end up doing uh, 50 to 100,000 more. These guys have been at it 24 hours a day since Tuesday, cranking out more than 600 shirts an hour. I mean, they're going to another championship. I mean, give them some publicity. I think Marshall's going to take it all the way. s and &E puts out several million shirts a year, but with Marshall in the championship, they're going to do about 50 dozen an hour. That's some 20,000 shirts by game time. Championship hats are also big business. Seven colors and 15,000 separate stitches. It takes 30 minutes to turn one of these out. But in this big room, they can stitch 170 hats in just an hour. It's hard to get it all organized. I'm not a football fan, not a basketball fan, I'm just a worker. The shirts and hats will go to stores like J.C. Penney's and Stone and & Thomas. No one will say just how much money will be made from them, but when a Marshall Championship's on the line, anything green means green at the bank. For Mission Countdown, I'm Alan Cohen. All right, thank you, Alan. Dave, we're T-minus a few minutes now and counting. We're starting to wind this thing down. Liftoff is almost here for tomorrow's championship ball game. We'll be back to wrap up Mission Countdown when we come back. Field goal try ever from 22 yards. Mary, yeah! <laughs> Can you believe it? <laughs> uh, but don't forget, we'll be back live tomorrow, a half hour before game time, with a special pregame show. You need a wake up call? I'll be there. All right, 11.30 tomorrow, live pregame show. Join us for Mission Montana starting tomorrow at 11.30. We'll be live right out in the middle of the pregame crowd. That's right, Dave, but don't expect a nuts and bolts pregame show. We've got plenty of special things planned. We'll be there along with Chief Meteorologist Dave Parker and Chopper 13 for Mission Montana tomorrow at 11.30. And that's going to do it for now. Thanks for joining us tonight on Mission Countdown. That's right. And don't forget to join us tomorrow morning, a half hour before kickoff. It's Marshall's Quest for a National Championship. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow.